It's definitely a new experience. Um, I know it's a lot harder to learn names because I can't see people's faces as well, but it's been really good. It's definitely weird, especially not seeing like the student's whole face, just like eyes up and everything, but it's interesting and I get to still learn unique techniques with teaching and not being able to walk around all the students, but still being able to teach them. It's definitely interesting. There's a lot of different factors that have to go into everything. Um, and it's definitely different teaching band. And um, yeah, it's just really weird, but it's fun. I decided to be a teacher because when I was in high school I was having a really hard time and it was my history teachers who gave me a place where I didn't have to perform for anybody. I could just sit and learn and be myself and so I want to do that for other students. So when I was in high school I fell in love with math and I just really wanted to teach it because there were some students that just didn't like math and didn't think they were math smart but that's not true and I just wanted to be a math teacher that let students realize that. And I decided that I wanted to make a difference in kids lives and be a positive person in their life. So yeah. Um, so I've actually played solos in Carnegie Hall uh, for the ECA band, so I'm pretty proud of that. When I was in a classroom last year, I was able to teach students and they understood it and I thought that was a big accomplishment because it's you think they're not going to get it but then they get it and you just get really excited. So. Um, honestly, my biggest accomplishment is making it this far. Um, I'll be graduating in May and that's that's really big for me. I'll be the first college graduate for my family so that's, that's pretty cool. I wish I would have known it's okay to not make A's all the time. I was very much a perfectionist when I came into college and it's okay to make B's. <laughs> to study more probably because it's very different like taking a college test than it is taking a high school test. I wish I would have known that it's okay to take time for yourself. Um, mental health is very important and I was just pushing myself to a point that wasn't healthy for me. Sometimes you just gotta take time for yourself and take care of yourself. Honestly, probably not. I'm really glad with the time that I've had in college. Uh, I would have been involved in more campus activities and things in my freshman year because I didn't really do that. So. I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with where I am now, so I'm, I don't think I would have changed anything. The first step to succeeding is in college is go to class. If you go to class, your professors will know you and you'll be able to get help, but if you don't go to class, it's not going to be good. I would say to always rent your textbooks and mark on them, because you can mark on them and leave sticky notes and everything, but also to study more with your college tests. Go to your classes. <laughs> Don't skip your classes. I know it's so easy to do that, but make sure you go, go to them. You're going to learn a lot. I know it seems tedious, especially those 8 a.m. classes, but go to your classes. If you don't, you're going to fail. I promise.